Welcome to another episode of Seven Minute Marketing with Pam. My name is Pam Dinner. I love sharing a little dose of B two B digital content marketing and sales enablement seven minutes at a time. Hard as it is to believe, even though I've only been working for myself for four years, I have just relaunched my website for the fourth time. That's pretty much one relaunch per year. And I'm not talking about changing copy here and there. I'm talking about a complete redesign of a website. So here's the story or saga of working on my website full of dramas and nightmares and some of my takeaway. So I launched my first website in 2012. It was pretty much a blog and a creative outlet. I was publishing my reflection and observation about life in general. It was not a business website per se, and I had no clear value proposition. I didn't talk about who I am and what I do. Then I completely redid my website in 2012 when I published my first book, Global Content Marketing. So that was a lot of work. Then, as 2015 rolled around, I decided—I don't know why I did that. It was kind of dumb. I decided that I should sharpen the focus of my web presence to match with my book. So I created Global Content Marketing as the main site and migrated all my content from pamdinner.com to that site, and I kept pamdinner.com static. Frankly, I don't think that was the right move. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. What I should have done is to keep building my personal brand on pamdinner.com. So in twenty sixteen, I realized I made that mistake. I should just focus in on building the content on pamdinner.com. Plus, I was thinking about writing my second book. So does that mean I have to launch another website just to match my second book? That just doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So having just global content on marketing site wouldn't cut it. Guess what? I redesigned pamdinner.com and moved all the content back. Again, this was a strategy change which directly impacted my website presence. In 2017. I added courses, e-commerce capabilities, revamped speaking page, and other features, and changed the design element to make it more modern. It's not a total relaunch per se, but it was still a huge amount of work. Now, 2018, with the arrival of my second book, guess what? It's time to redo my website with a newer look. I feel like I'm remodeling a room to welcome my second baby. In a way, it is. This time, the remodel was a whole lot more elaborate. I thought about my value proposition. I added professionally done videos. I also had the blog and the podcast pages custom coded for search categorization and made them a whole lot more visually appealing. So here are three quick lessons for launching and relaunching my website. Number one, digital marketing can be static. It's not something you can check off. Google updates its search algorithms constantly. WordPress is adding new features all the time. Your website needs to keep up with technology changes. You need to feed the monsters. There's no shortcut, and you need to dress it up constantly. And the work just never ends. Number two, a website is part of marketing outreach. Creating a website is easy, and I hate saying that. The challenging part is to tie subscription, downloads, and offerings seamlessly to marketing automation, CRM, and other tools. That's the hard part. I'm constantly working on my workflow to improve the customer journeys. It's difficult and exhausting. Number three, tie your website conversions to analytics. I didn't know this very well when launching the previous sites. I didn't set up goals and the UTMs properly on Google Analytics. The best way to understand your website is to make sure that you define how you will measure conversions and success using whatever tools that you choose. And it does require a lot of thought. And I'm still working on that. Okay, I kick off the website launch meeting in April to anticipate the launch on July 31st. Well. The website did go live on July 34th for about five minutes. Certain design elements didn't get transferred, so my team took everything down.、Ugh. Then they worked through all the details and migration again, 
and relaunched on August 9th. Once that was relaunched, we discovered more problems like e-commerce features were not working properly, some images and videos hadn't transferred, and a bunch of links were broken. The QA took three to four weeks, and we are still making minor changes here and there. The work is never done, like I said. Man, creating a seamless digital customer experience is easy to say, but hard to do. If you're not in the trenches, it's hard for you to understand and comprehend how much work goes behind the scenes to make the website user-friendly and seamless. Like I said, the saga continues. Friends who know me well are putting a bet on when I'll redo my website again. I really hope, seriously, sincerely, that this website will last for a couple of years. But I know that's a wishful thinking. Something will come up and prompt me to redo the website all over again. In the meantime, I'm actually very pleased with the current design. My value proposition is clear. I have a solid offerings. Most importantly, I have a better understanding of who I am and of what I can do. Something about writing copy for my own website brings clarity to who I am. Writing, I'm telling you, is the best way to discover your inner self. Okay, I'm sure you'll hear more about my website plight in the future. But for now, check out my website, pmdinner.com. I'm very proud, very proud of my fifth makeover. <laughs> Again, send me your marketing questions or thoughts via Twitter at PMDinner. Be well, until next time.